Now, the reason why activity-based costing is so much more accurate than traditional costing is because we are able to break these into activities, the manufacturing overhead into activities. Now, we break activities into different types. The first one being unit-level activities. As the name implies, we're going to break this down into a per-unit form. This incurred by production or acquisition of a single unit or product uh, or delivery of a single product or, or unit of service. So we can break these down into a per unit format. The volume or the level of activity is proportionate to the number of units produced. So as more units are produced, the higher the cost of this type of activity is going to be. Cost incurred to perform these activities can be uh, allocated using the traditional methods of direct labor hours, manufacturing uh, machine hours. This is going to be the, the traditional approach. The traditional approach of costing is going to be assuming that all manufacturing overhead costs fall up under unit levels of activity, uh, and that's just not the case. So let's look at the other types that doesn't take into consideration when we're dealing with traditional. Another type of activity is what we call batch level activities. This is kind of the next step in the hierarchy. This is incurred when a group of similar things are made, handled, processed, uh, or processed at the same time. The volume of the level of activities is proportionate to the number of batches produced, not units, because there's multiple units in a batch. So we're really breaking this down only into the batch uh, format. The next one is going to be product level activities. So this is incurred in support of different products or processes. The activities here uh, are the ones that support the production and sales of an individual product. So we're not looking at units, we're not looking at batches, we're looking at the product in general. Okay. Uh, this is related to all units and batches pr uh, produced, regardless of the volume. The fourth one is what we call customer level activities. Customer level of activities are costs incurred to, or activities incurred to support and sustain specific customers. So we're outside of the product realm now. We're now into the selling and admin side. But these are still costs that we have to uh, look at, activities that we have to look at. Not, these are not dependent on the number of units or the uh, products sold to a customer, because again, it has nothing to do with the production of. Um, but these are costs uh, for these resources do not affect product cost. The last one is going to be organizational level activities. Organizational level activities are activities incurred to support this and sustain the business as a unit. So we're not looking at customers, we're looking at the sustainability of the business. These activities performed uh, to maintain the, that the plant facility and provide managerial infrastructure. These are not dependent on the number of production, uh, number of uh, produced or production, just the number of facilities maintained. And again, these costs are not, uh, or costs of these resources do not affect the product cost either. That one.